Welcome back. It is time to tell you about number five, the fifth issue that we see the most often when cutting issues are happening with the Cameo Pro. If you've missed the first parts of this series, check out the description below so that you can go back and start at the beginning and it makes more sense and they are all linked in there. Or you can click on the playlist for this YouTube channel and you can find the Cameo Pro list there as well. I would also recommend checking out the Teachable link in the description below for greater details. Make sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you would like to be notified of future content. Okay, let's get started with number five. Now number five, and that is loading your materials. The Cameo 4 is a little different than other models of the Silhouette machines. So on this close up here, the Cameo Pro has two different loading lines. The line on the outside, on the left side of the arrows, is only for the 24 inch mat. So you only load the material there if you're using a 24 inch mat. And you want the left edge of the cutting mat, 24 inch cutting mat, next to that line but not over top of it. And then the second line is for any other material or mat. 24 inch vinyl, 12 inch cutting mat, 15 inch cutting mat. This line on the right side is where you are going to load your materials. Again, I said that the little, uh, the left roller is underneath this dot on the front of your roller bar. And we, if you look at your machine, you can see that when it's placed like that, it will be under that left roller, no matter what your materials are. So again, outside line, is for a 24 inch cutting mat only. Inside line is for all other materials, all other sizes of cutting mat. This does make a difference because you are telling the software what size your mat or material is. This makes a difference because of how you have it set up in the Silhouette software. You are telling the machine that you are using a specific size cutting mat or a specific size of material. It is then taking that information and it is adjusting the designs on the screen to cut in a certain location. So if you are telling it that you have a 12 inch cutting mat, but you are loading it next to the 24 inch cutting mat line, your design is going to be approximately a quarter inch off to the right because the software thinks you are using a 12 inch mat loaded at the second line, not the first. So your cuts are going to be about a quarter inch off. If your cuts are cutting too high on the cutting mat, look at your page setup panel. Do you have a cutting mat selected? If you have been cutting without a cutting mat on just vinyl with no mat, the cut starts higher. And you can look at this, I'll show it here in the software. If you set a 12 inch cutting mat on your page setup panel, it will have about an inch of space at the top of that cutting mat. So the software knows it needs to pull in the cutting mat that space before it starts to cut. If I switch here to no mat, the cutting machine can start cutting sooner. So it will start cutting immediately at the top of that material, which means that if you have no mat selected in the software, the silhouette machine thinks that it can start cutting at the very top. So this is the most common reason that we find that people have the machine cutting off and it's cutting at the beginning of the mat. That is another thing that can cause your blade housing to get out of alignment because it's cutting into your cutting mat or it cuts off the cutting mat because it doesn't have room and then your housing could be out of alignment. So 
I hope that through all these steps that you've seen that it's not always just one thing. There are multiple reasons that something can happen. The auto blade works. There were some years ago that were defective. Um, those are pretty well gone, uh, unless you have one that's hidden in your stash somewhere. But most of the times, it's not the auto blade's fault. It's just not set properly, and it doesn't have a chance to work properly. Now, I hope that those five tips can help you to have successful cuts with your Cameo Pro. This is a, I tried to be very quick here for the YouTube video, but like you saw, so many different variables into this machine. Those are just the top five to get started. Now, I will have more information in the description below. I have many things that I've published and put out there that are very, very specific and have very close up photos of each specific Cameo Pro um, issue. So if you're experiencing print and cut issues, there's, there's links in the description below on the information I've published pre previously. There's also a link in the description for a more in-depth Cameo Pro, you know, get to be a pro with your pro on my Teachable site. Now this will be broken up into specific sections and detail exactly how to load a 12 inch cutting mat, how to load a 24 inch cutting mat and give you very specific instructions on that. Or if you're experiencing problems with print and cut, it will have very specific detailed instructions. Um, it's just not something you can do on the YouTube. But this is the five things that we see most often with issues with the Cameo Pro. I want you to be successful with your Cameo Pro and all of your other silhouette cutting machines. I love mine. I have hours and hours. I wish it had a little counter. I love the Cameo Pro. I love my other Cameo 4 machine. Check out the information in the description below. Let me know if you have questions. Most times it can be solved fairly quickly and it's just a matter of starting at the beginning, taking a look at your machine and learning how it works. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for joining me.